Hi everybody, Andrew here. Uh, welcome back to the RLD video tutorial series. Um, in this video, we're going to continue our discussion um, about surface snapping and I'm going to teach you how you can uh, use surface snapping to place objects, uh, props on a, on a sphere, on a spherical surface, right? So I have a really simple scene set up here with a sphere, uh, which is going to act as a spherical surface and a bunch of props. So uh, the first thing you need to do is um, you need to click on the RT object selection object here. Um, that will bring up an inspector which should look something similar to this. Now click on the selection grab uh, tab. Selection grab is actually surface snapping. I named it selection grab inside the plugin, but this is actually uh, surface snapping. Yeah, so these are all the surface snap settings that you can control here. And um, the next thing you want to do is you need to go to layers, add layer, and create a new layer called spherical. Um, you don't need to name it spherical, it can have any name you wish, but I'm going to name it spherical in this case. Select the RT object selection object in, uh, again, and you have a field here called spherical mesh layers. So uh, you need to go to this, you need to click on this field and just uh, set this to spherical. This is the layer that we've just created, and then click on the sphere and uh, assign it to the spherical layer. So now the plugin will know that this sphere, because it belongs to the spherical layer, is a spherical mesh surface, right? And uh, this allows it to um, perform surface snapping correctly and also, perf uh, also uh, it allows it to make certain optimizations because it, there, uh, this, uh, there are assumptions that it can, that it can make about the, uh, you know, the geometry of, of the surface, right? Uh, okay, and... Uh, uh, one one thing that um, one other thing that uh, I would like to do is um, you have here another field called surface layers. Uh, these are all the layers that can act as a snap surface. And in this particular case, I want these objects to always snap to the sphere. I don't want to, for example, place barrels on top of uh, those foliage um, prefabs or barrels on top of barrels. Yeah. So I only want uh, I only want the sphere to act as a snap surface, in which case I need to go to surface layers, first click on nothing to just clear this out, and then uh, click spherical. Yeah. So from this point on, the surface, the sphere is the only snap surface that the plugin can recognize. And because we specify the spherical mesh layer here, it will also know that it's a spherical surface. Okay. Um, and last, uh, the, the last thing I want to do is not entirely necessary. But I, I need to go to the general tab and I have here uh, selectable layers and I just want to uncheck spherical. So the selectable layers uh, property allows you to specify what types of layers can be selected uh, by left click or multi selection rectangle. In this particular case, I have unchecked spherical because I do not want to select the sphere object. Yeah, this, this is just a spherical, uh, this is just a snap surface and I do not want to mess around with it. Okay, so now we can switch to play mode and now if I click on the sphere you can see that I cannot select it, I cannot select it with the selection rectangle either and uh, I can just place objects around on the on the sphere and we've, like, uh, we've already talked about how you can uh, uh, work with surface snapping in, um, in the previous video, right? Uh, so I'm not going to cover the controls again, suffice to say that it's uh, it works as as expected. Yeah, so you can start just populating this sphere with uh, with objects. Let's just press Ctrl D to duplicate. Place one right here. Make it bigger. And uh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And these these objects can be as far away. Uh, from each other as, as you want. Uh, this works because uh, the plugin has been informed that it's dealing with a spherical surface and it, it knows how to deal with those, uh, how to position those objects uh, correctly. If we hadn't done that, uh, you might, uh, like if you haven't, if you hadn't specified uh, that this is a spherical surface, um, it would still work, but not entirely, uh, like not 100% correct and not in all situations, right? Yeah, I just uh, I'm just thinking of playing around with this a little bit more, but uh, I've pretty much shown you everything that uh, I wanted to show you. So um, yeah, that's that's how you place objects 
on uh, on a sphere thank you very much for watching bye bye